Christmas is around the corner and it can be incredibly hard to know what to wish for or what to buy for that friend that is a fantasy fanatic. Now, if you want to spoil that one friend that loves fantasy or if you are a fantasy reader and you want to add some books to your Christmas wish list, then you have come to the right place. Because I'll be giving recommendations for what to add to your wish list and what to buy for your friend this Christmas. So this video will be split into three parts. Firstly, I'll recommend some cheaper options at around 10 to 20 pounds per book, and I'll give you one recommendation depending on the mood. So I'll give you one recommendation for epic fantasy, character-driven fantasy, grimdark, lore inspired, something unique, and lastly, fantasy that is heavy on themes. I'll then give some gift recommendations if you're looking to really splash on a really expensive gift. We are talking about £80 or more for a single book. And lastly, in the third section, I will give you some recommendations for books that provide a lot of value at around the £20 price point. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, let's start with some cheaper options and here I'll just give you some recommendations depending on the mood. Firstly, are you craving a big old epic fantasy? Do you just want to get lost in a big fantasy? fantasy world and just escape? In that case, I got a perfect author for you, which is none other than Brandon Sanderson. If you're even vaguely familiar with fantasy, then you will know who this is. Without a doubt, one of the most prolific fantasy authors of our time, and he has written so many incredible books. Some of his best books that you should add to your wish list should be The Final Empire, which is the first book in the Mistborn trilogy. Mistborn is one of my all-time favorite series, and it's a fantastic starting place if you're looking to get into adult fantasy. Also, the writing style is very accessible, which makes Sanderson's work so addictive. Now, if you want something seriously epic, then check out The Way of Kings, the first book in the Stormlight Archive. Both The Way of Kings and Mistborn are the first book in different series, and both are incredible. You can't really go wrong with either of these, and you can find these in paperback for like £9. Now, if you're more of a character-driven reader that enjoys stories that have beautiful writing, are slow-paced, and will destroy you emotionally, then you need to add the Farseer trilogy to your Christmas list. This series has some of the best characterizations I have ever come across, great animal companions, and is overall just a beautiful story. Now, the Farsi trilogy is one of my all-time favorite series because of Hop's ability to make you feel for the protagonist, Fitz. That being said, the writing style can be a tough sell for some people that primarily read modern fantasy, but I don't think that that, that will be an issue for most readers. Now, if you're looking for something a bit more grim, but has a lot of humor and incredible characters, then you should consider adding the First Law trilogy by Joe Abercrombie to your Christmas wish list. Abercrombie is known as Lord Grimdark and not without reason. These books are set in a depressing world where you follow characters that are just trying to survive the day. And I must say, no one writes like Abercrombie. The writing is so clever, full of humor, and yet whenever you finish a book by him, you feel like you learn something deep about human nature. These books are grim, yet wonderful. But if you want something that is epic and Norse inspired, then check out The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. This is one of my favorite ongoing series. This series is full of action, has fantastic pacing and great characters. Now, John Gwynn has written two other series, but I would argue that this is Gwynn's best writing to date, and you don't have to read any of Gwynn's other books to enjoy this one. Also, the cover is so badass, so that in of itself makes it a great gift. But what if you want to gift a book that brings something new to fantasy, something that feels unique, then the Green Bone Saga might be for you. This series is a perfect read for anyone looking for something new in the genre. The Green Bone Saga is an Asian-inspired urban fantasy set in a modern setting and has a very strong Godfather vibes. There's a lot of conflicts around clans, and this series is without a doubt one of the best series I have ever ever read. Now, I can literally talk about this trilogy for ages, but what I will say here is that Fondus Lee's ability to write characters is masterful. And yes, I will say it now, Fonda Lee has the chance to become one of the best fantasy authors of our age. All three books in the Greenbone Saga are five star reads for me and I can't recommend them enough. So yeah, if you want to add this to your wish list, then start with Jade City. Now, if you are a reader who loves fantasy books that are heavy on themes and analyzes big ideas, then I have two recommendations for you. Firstly, Pyronesi by Susanna Clarke. Brilliant, brilliant book that is absolutely beautifully written and is also very short. This is one of those stories that the less you know, the better it actually is. So I won't say much about this book, 
except that this book is incredibly atmospheric and overall is just very different from anything I have ever read. And obviously the themes are brilliant. And then we have Babel by R.F. Kuang, a slow paced dark academia historical fantasy that analyzes the themes of translation and the relationship between translation and colonialism. This is a beautiful written book, has amazing characters and it will really make you think. Both Babel and Parnesi are both books that will stay with me for a long time, which is why you should add them to your wishlist. All of these books I've just mentioned you can buy for like a tenner, except Babel which hasn't had a paperback release yet. But what if you have a friend or a loved one that you really, really want to treat? You are willing to go above and beyond their wildest dreams when it comes to book buying. Now this section will highlight the super premium books you could buy and if these are too expensive then stick to the end because I will end this video with some alternatives that aren't as pricey but are still very nice. First up in the expensive section. A brilliant brilliant gift would be the HarperCollins hardback set of The Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. Now these cost around £75 on Amazon. But you get four hardbacks that are beautiful and are illustrated by Alan Lee himself. Now this is in my opinion one of the best sets you can buy of the Lord of the Rings if you are a fan. The quality is great, the illustrations are beautiful and these will just look super stunning on the shelf. But if you're looking for a single book that will blow your mind then you could also buy the incredibly beautiful folio edition of Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. So this is a new book from Folio and it looks stunning and the story is also really good. So this is an urban fantasy where the protagonist goes to another city that is hidden beneath the streets of London called Neverwhere. And as always Neil Gaiman's writing is beautiful and atmospheric but if you want to go a bit more crazy you could order a leather bound from Dragonsteel Books. Now these cost around $100 each and are often sold out so I can't give you any specific recommendations here due to they might have been sold out. But if you're willing to go to this price point to really treat someone then you can get an incredible book for $100 plus shipping. Now this is obviously a very steep price point but these are probably some of the best special editions out there. This is a leather bound book filled with illustrations, maps, beautiful chapter header and more. There are books in the market that will cost you two or three hundred dollars that will give you less than what this book provides. Okay but what if you are willing to buy a really nice gift to someone or you want to add some really nice books to your wish list but 80 pounds or more is just way too steep. Well here are some great alternatives for around 20 pounds that still have a lot of value for that price point. First up, The Fall of Numenor, the new Tolkien book that is edited by Brian Sipley and illustrated by Alan Lee. Now if you're a Lord of the Rings fan then this is a must buy. This is a beautiful hardback with illustrations from Alan Lee and it's basically one cohesive book that tells the story of the second age in Middle Earth. This is most ideal for big fans of Middle Earth but I know there are a lot of them out there so consider adding this to your wish list. The second recommendation, the Mistborn trilogy again but this time around the 10th anniversary editions. Now these cost around £15 each online so you can buy the whole trilogy with these beautiful covers for around £45. These look great and are a bit more special than the normal paperback. The third recommendation is The Ocean at the End of the Lane, the illustrated edition. Now this actually only costs around £9 but it is a really nice book. It has so many beautiful illustrations, the print quality is quite nice and the story is just magical. This is one of my favorite Neil Gaiman books. I don't know how to explain it but this story gave me similar vibes to Narnia. It is just magical. And then we have some of Flame Tree's books. You can buy these really nice looking editions from Flame Trees, for example, Celtic Myths or Edgar Allan Poe collections, and these cost only around £20, which is mad. The cover does feel a bit cheap, but the books look amazing and has a lot of great content in them. Out of all the books I mentioned, then these are probably one of the best options to buy for Fred because they are a collection of various things, look great and are also quite affordable. Lastly, I had to include one indie book but there are so many out there but if you want to buy a beautiful hardback that has amazing quality and has so many incredible additional goodies then check out The Hardback for the Dreams of the Dying by Nicholas Litzow. Firstly, this is the first book in a series and it's a beautiful, slow-paced, character-driven fantasy story that analyzes a lot of different things 
for example depression, in a very unique way. But this hardback has a great dust jacket, art on the naked hardback, a map and more importantly has around 70 pages of additional content about the world and various things. This is truly a premium product, especially for fans of epic fantasy. Now this one is a bit more pricey at around £27 I think, but it is truly worth it. So that is it. There are obviously thousands more books I could have included in this video, but I'll try to narrow it down. Let me know if you want a part 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to my patrons. See you in the next video.